O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. You created the day and the night, O God. You set the sun and the moon in their places. You set the limits of the earth. You made summer and winter. Amen. Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer. I wanted to share with you today a a piece of scripture that has been on my mind and in my heart all weekend. Um, It comes from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. And it goes, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I've been encountering this in the form of a, of a song. Um, it's a song that I, I first encountered at a, a Credo conference that I got to go to. It's a clergy renewal education and development opportunity conference. And I, I was given the gift of this conference in the middle of a rather busy time in, in my ministry. And uh, the first thing we did when we got there was gather for worship. And the opening song was this song. It went, Come to me, you who, who are weary, carrying heavy burdens. Come to me, I will give you rest. And that, that line of that song, that line from Scripture, has been playing itself in my head. I'm sorry that I had to sing it for you. I kept trying to look for the, a clip of it on YouTube to link to, and I couldn't find one. Um, but that's the one that I've been returning to again and again this weekend. Uh, this is a time when we're all carrying heavy burdens. Um, and I found it really helpful to listen to this invitation to seek rest. As a spiritual practice, I would encourage you to, to pay attention to rest whenever, whenever you get a chance to take it. Um, it's different from the kind of rest that is sort of listlessly lounging around in your pajamas watching Netflix, although that's that's an important time, too, is sort of unplugging and distraction. I'm, I'm talking about the periods of rest that come to you when you've stopped your work. Um, at nighttime, I found it helpful uh, before I fall asleep. You know, even even if my mind is, is still churning, to notice the, the stillness of my body. And when I wake up, even if I'm waking up into a world I wish were different, to notice the stillness of my body as it comes out of sleep, to pay attention to the times that that my body is able to find rest. I find it helpful to uh, stop working for mealtimes, you know, to set down the computer, turn off the news for lunch and and for dinner, um, and to to take a rest from from whatever I'm doing and attend to to my body. I'd encourage you to do the same in this time. This is going to be hard on our on our bodies as well as our spirits. And so really attending to that need to rest and and listening to that invitation that we have in Scripture, come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. In your prayers today, um, I'd like you to lift up people who don't have the option to shelter in place, uh, people for whom work carries them outside the home, uh, people who are essential employees, home health workers, people who make deliveries, nurses and doctors, utility and sanitation workers, everybody whose work is carrying them outside the home uh, at this time. Please keep them in your prayers. They're the ones out there keeping the world running right now. All right, that's all for this morning. God be with you till we meet again. Amen.